Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Elm Creek. Yeah, we are here in the dreary month of December still. Don't worry, we are about to uh, hop out of it. We've got a little quick errand run. Uh, run. Oh, my goodness. A quick errand to run before we uh, leave today. And we're, we're going to be a very attentive driver. Yeah. So just going to go over here. And if you are wise, you know that we're heading right over here to the pond. Yes, it's time for a little fill up. Uh, you might even notice on the, tra we had the trailer. So yes, there we go. Uh, we need to get some water for the greenhouse. It's been a while. But it's also a good opportunity to drive over here. Let's just fill ourselves up. Boom, there it is. And we're just going to sneak up over here first. Because look at this big, gorgeous field just sitting here. And I believe this field has our name all over it. Yes, if you recall last episode, we had Sillapalooza. And we have $408,000 in the bank. And a lot of stones. Hey, we'll go get off my field. Well, it's not my field yet. So let's have a look-see. We come in here. Uh, farm. Look at our farmland. Yes, we have enough money. Uh, yeah, we got yeah plenty of money. So I do want to buy this now. And the rationale for that is, even though we're in December, technically we could wait for January, but I am fearful, uh, which we, we might jump through pretty quick, but I am fearful in the month of February that they'll just plant, plant the cotton. I'll be like, no, because uh, I'm not looking for cotton. I want to plant our sunflowers, and we need that field available for us in March. So let's come in here. We can, uh, oops, uh, we can buy it. There we go. This land is our land. And yeah, that's, I think, our biggest field purchase. Uh, can we easily tell? Farmland. Well, that's valued at 364000 372000 So yeah, I think this is our largest piece of land. It's going to be very nice to have, but the nicest thing is it's the convenience. Yes, the 100% convenience factor. And the thing we'll also have to decide is, should we expand the field anymore? We're not really in desperate need to, uh, but there is a lot of work to do on this field. But let's hop into our water trailer here. Well, into uh, the tractor with the water trailer. And with that, we just need to get back to our greenhouse and make sure we top up the water, because if we come in here uh, to our productions, yeah, you can see the water was low. It's getting a little higher, which is good news. We're back in the green. Excellent. Uh, you can see we are some lettuce here, but we have switched to strawberries. Yes, yes. Oh, I guess we should turn off the oat flour. We have no more oats. Uh, and everything else is good and dandy. So we are fine there. Um, so we just need to park the water trailer, uh, or tanker, I should say. No, technically it is a trailer that holds water. So, but we can leave this here. And with that, we just need to find a good spot to park this, uh, this fellow. But I think we are done here for this month. Let's have a look-see. Uh, we can come in here to our farm. Yeah, the sugar beets, they're all gone. Thank goodness. Uh, and let's kind of just look at our growth stages here. Yeah, we do have a crop growing here. We have one growing here. Uh, this field needs to be, well, it is cultivated, so we probably should send the stone picker. This field, uh, these fields here need some prep work. So I think that is our main goal. But let's get into uh, the month of January. So even though there's tons of snow on the ground, yeah, we're going to pull a good old trusty uh, stone picker. It's been a hot minute since we've uh, had this fellow out, but I think we should uh, take care of that as well as getting rid of the, uh, what would that be, the Avengers beam or, I don't know, that, that's, uh, that's got to go. But we got to get going over to our brand new field. I will admit, I was a little worried. Will I be able to know where our new field is located? You know what? Um, hmm. 
you know, I, I, I don't think it's going to be as hard to detect as I, I, I was thinking. So, yes, th this is going to be extremely easy to figure out. And hopefully we can pick up the stones. Yes, we are picking them up. That is good news. Huh. I, I would have thought this particular implement would have at least done something a little more predominant to the snow, but hey, it's fine. You know, it's fine. Yeah, this 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 is definitely uh this is gonna take a minute. But first off, we need to tackle the headland. It's cool. Just lying here on the floor Cold towels, my feet against the door How long have I been in this space? Arms over eyes, help me retrace How did I become the door right here? Memories been well, that there is the headland done. Yeah, and, well, we picked up a lot of stone. 42%, that's pretty good. Now, we could just do the whole direct drill thing, which we are gonna buy, we're gonna lease. I don't know what we're doing yet. But I think for now, we are going to, uh, you know, clean up this field, cause we should do it at least once. We don't wanna do it too dirty because, well, you know, it's, it's it's our new field so let, let's let's treat this new field nice so we're gonna throw this off on a helper for very good reasons and that is because we have some silage no it has nothing to do with our silage bales but man those look like sweet marshmallows don't they hmm oh oh um okay i think we'll just uh put you down here sir Yes, uh, unironically, I, I do actually have the front loader on, which is really hard to see. Oh, and I jackknifed everything. Wow. Okay, so we're going to pick you up. We will set you down. We will slowly back up. Maybe. Can we back up, please? There we go. You know, I should have listened to Han Solo's advice and I shouldn't have gotten cocky. Yeah, I got a little cocky there, so... Oops. Oh, you know what? We also overshot where we were supposed to go. Man! It's hard to drive in winter. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is our old sunflower field. And it needs a good mulching. So, that's what we're going to be doing here. So, we might as well get this down. And we can start this one off along the headland as well. Oh, this is nice. Takes care of the snow as well. Bye-bye, Mr. Snow. Well, it's not even enough to make a snowman anyways, but... You know, it's, it's just gotta go. Now, I think as well, this other field also needs a mulching. Don't know if we can tell without hopping into the overview, but... This one does, and this one's going to take a minute. Now, thankfully, we're just booming right along, 18 kilometers an hour. So that's nice. That's going to make this quick work. You know what? I'm somewhat going to miss the uh, square corners here, or the 90-degree corners. But I also like the fact that our new field over there has some nice, gentle, rounded corners on um, part of the field. Not all of it. So it really means you don't have to do this. So, I don't know. What do you guys like? Do you like the uh, 90 degree corners? Or do you like a nice, smooth, rounded corner? Smooth, rounded corner? You guys know what I mean, right? So this won't take too long. That's good news. So yeah, we've got a lot of, I was about to say spring chores to do. But we've got a lot of field prep work to do here this month. Uh, at least before the month of March. It's nice to do a little work in the snow. Um, 
Now, I am keen to know if there's other maps that... Ooh. Yeah, there, there's a, there was no rum in my eggnog, I swear, folks. Um, I do wonder if there are other maps uh, where the snow is actually a little more important uh, in terms of, you know, you got to plow it or really impacts your ability to maintain the farm. But uh, this won't take too long. We're almost completely around the headland. And I haven't had to really stall with too much jibber-jabbering. Right? Right. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, don't answer that. Don't, don't. Don't answer that, so uh, just in case. As you can see, that's where we started. We'll just uh, try to avoid going into the dry creek bed, because that would be a bit of a disaster. Not that I've had any today with this, uh, this particular tractor and a silage bale. No, 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 no. Now, one thing I haven't noticed, but I'm sure it is coming, is the warning message that uh, Mr. Stonepicker is is full. So, our goal is to get this off on a worker as well. So at least so that we can get over and empty the stone picker. But we do have one... Uh, we're going to make some money uh, today as well. And no, it's actually... Actually, it might be about selling some sausage. we got to look into that. Um, but it is something else for sure. So let's set this off on a worker so they can uh, do their thing. Uh, this is currently the only tractor not doing anything, so... Hmm. Now I need to find... Oh, there it is. That's about... <laughs> and no, that wasn't a setup. I'm like, I need to find a small little trailer that's perfect for stones. There it is, right here. Perfect. Now this is complete um, misuse of my tractors, I would have to say, right? Um, our biggest, baddest uh, John Deere is, excuse me, is gonna be uh, hauling this little uh, trailer. Now, before we actually go meet up with our stone picker, I just noticed uh, this is half full. Uh, and thankfully, our stone picker has still got some space. It did have a little peak, so that's good news. But there is no sense uh, starting uh, this stone picking uh, effort with a half full trailer, especially since we have the opportunity to do a quick little dump. Come on, I come on! Don't make a liar to me. I said this would be quick. Go go go! There we go. And it'll bring in a little bit of money. Uh, $600, which, given our $34,000 bank account, it's not bad to add $600. But, in reality, the money we're going to make today, uh, yeah, it's uh, going to pale in comparison. So let's go find... There she be. And I'd like to say she's doing a good job, but honestly, I can't tell at all. <laughs> yeah, so we, we just need to wait for it to uh, fill up so that we can just pull in uh, right behind it. Well, I was stalking this guy and oh, finally just uh, filled up. Uh, did, I, did I pull that off well enough? Maybe, maybe. No, we need to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh my goodness. That's embarrassing, folks. But hey, it's fun to pull donuts. Uh, with a big John Deere tractor? Right? Uh, what could go wrong? There we go. Perfecto. Second time's the charm. Can't remember how much this fills up. I don't think it's half with the load. Yeah, so we can get... Four trailer loads, which I think, or four stone picker loads, I should say. So I think that will be fine. I think we will be okay. The stone picker's doing a darn good job. And you might notice our trailer is three quarters of the way full. So yes, we've unloaded twice off camera. Uh, so we're coming up to time number four. 
And we've got a, a little bit more of this field to go. And you know what? I am ever, ever so thankful. I did decide to turn on the worker because wowzers, I am not sure I would have done this field any sort of justice. So we'll just uh, sneak in right behind here. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that, that's, that's just insulting. Okay, did we get it? Did we get it? Okay, hang on, let's try this again. Okay, there we go, there we go. Beautiful, there you go, you can continue on. Um, hopefully that tractor doesn't run out of fuel, so what are we gonna do? Uh, we're just gonna zoom over here. And you actually see we're getting some pretty good snowfall. Where the, the wheels are, uh, well, they're not obviously disappearing, but they're, yeah. There's a bit of a snow there versus uh, off the field where there apparently is uh, next to none. Yeah, good old uh, train station here on the way. So you know what? Why don't we take care of one very important money-making venture here? We're going to hop over here to Mr. Train. And we're going to bring it forth. Let's see how far it is away. Oh, 1.7. Uh, sir? Train is going to arrive soon. Okay, so it is on its way. Well, it, it says it's on its way. But it's it's going... Okay, it is coming back. Okay. The engineer had to do a hard stop and is on their way back. But I think what we're going to do while we're waiting for Mr. Train... Whoa, whoa, oh! Oh! Okay, that, uh, okay, that was on me. Okay, sorry, sir, ma'am, my, my, my bad. So why don't we just quickly take care um, of dumping all these stones? Because it is right here. And we are gonna try to see if we can beat the train. Keep an eye on it back there. Come on, we can, we can beat the train. And what, we should be about $1,100, 11 nearly $1,200? Yeah, nearly $1,200. You know, I would love, to, I think we might have finally paid off the stone picker. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. If you're following my No Man Land series, which I just recently started up, we are not playing with stones and booyah! We have arrived at the same time as Mr. Choo Choo Train. So that is perfect, perfect timing. In fact, you could say we did beat it. Okay, so let's back this baby up. Nice and slow. Stop it right there. Yeah, if you recall, we have a lot, a lot of sugar beet. 341,000 liters. It is time for this to go. We definitely didn't need to uh, plant the last crop. Are we going to fill... Hmm. I think we might even have to put this in another... Uh, another compartment. Yes. Oh. Can we get it all out on one train load? This... This is shocking. Okay, so I think we can do some in the this one here as well. We might just get by the hair of our chinny chin chin. I, I like this is this is amazing. And this is going to be a lot of money. I think it's nearly one hundred and seventy thousand dollars we're going to end up making. Okay, so that one's full. Now, I think we can only put it in this last one. All right, stop, sir. I think we need to open. Yeah, okay, we can open that one up. Oh, we're run, gonna run just a bit shy. 131,000 liters left. Wowzers. That is 
that is us. Sorry, this is, you know, farming business here. That's going to just take a hot minute to get done, but that is so sweet. Okay, so we have, it looks like 41,000 liters of sugar beet left. So that's unfortunate. But you know what's not going to be unfortunate is the fact that we just made a hundred and fifty two thousand dollars as I nearly get run over by the train. Why could I not have one more compartment? Okay, I I wonder we sold it. So if I call the train back now, she's got to put the brakes on. Come on back. Yeah, I, 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 you know, don't worry, sir, sir, don't worry, sir, uh, yeah, okay, um, yeah, I get it, I would do the same, look, don't look, gonna say something, don't wanna say, we've got one more quick little batch we wanna sell, I think it's worth it, but look at that, $185,000 in the bank, and we're not done, we're not done, there's one secret thing we've got left to sell here today, so let's come on in. Or is this a secret thing? I can't even remember now. My goodness. But we can. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There we go. Yeah, apparently, yeah, trains cannot stop on a dime. But we can certainly get one going for a nickel. Let's go. Let's go. We can do it. Yes. And another $21,000 almost of income. That is a pretty, pretty darn good. So let all this uh, traffic go by. As soon as they decide to raise the uh, raise the arms. Come on. Let us out. I think we can live a little dangerously and head on the uh, train tracks. Oh, and all that time, all our snow melted. Yeah, I did not uh, really jump ahead. We uh, just did all that. So, as you can see, the helper, oh my goodness, what a great job you did. Uh, definitely would have been very frustrating for me. So, although you have missed some stones, this is supposed to be no stones left unturned. But that's fine. But what we'll going to do is we're just going to quickly finish off mulching uh, this field here. Uh, looks like we're, yeah, we're going to have to come back up for another quick pass. Had the helper do most of this, uh, did most of this field. It's going to be like, yeah, and I did it. No, no, I did the headland and I just took back over. So let's, let's, you know, need to be honest here. What this will also allow us to do is see whether we need to mulch the field across. It doesn't look like we need to, which is good. So we got this little bit. Now, it's very important for us to use this tractor, which we'll see why here momentarily for our next job. But man, is it nice to be out of winter colors the sun is out guess it must have warmed up I'm very happy about that so the big John Deere just sitting there with the little itsy bitsy teeny weeny tiny uh, stone trailer praying the fact that that tractor does not run out of fuel before we can get it to the gas station all right there we go I think this is the only field uh, we do need to mulch. Now you might be asking yourself, hey Sargon, why are you booting over to the store? You gonna come pick up your trailer? Well, yes. Well, yes we are. But, not that trailer. We don't need that one right now. Let's come on in here. Uh, we could hop in the sale and buy this little lovely little modded trail, trailer that just does uh, quad bales there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in to yes the bale loaders and we're gonna zip ourselves down here and We got some modded trailers and we're gonna pick up this guy full price because it does both 
Um, I to be honest, I'm not sure why there's a a difference here. Um, that looks like a really just for small bales, I guess. 120 centimeters, basically. Wow. Okay. But I wanted to buy a new uh, uh, bale trailer just to see how this is going to work out. So we're going to come in, uh, customize it. We do want the auto load uh, trailer. Uh, I do want the double, I guess, extensions here. Uh, what's the other thing we want to do? Rim color. Yeah, I think we're going to go... Yeah, let's go jet black. I'd love to be able to modify the rest of the trailer, but we can't, unfortunately. Well, we could put a light on, but I don't think we really need that. So, oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and buy this guy. We've got the money, so let's do it. It's time for a new bale trailer. So, as promised, one beautiful new trailer. I'm hoping it's actually going to hold more bales than our current trailer, which uh, I think will keep around for sure we've uh use it for an excellent uh product yeah okay sorry about that for our eggs you can see our current trailer how many is that holding uh two four six eight ten yeah this this looks like a better deal now it has some different commands so i'm not exactly sure how well this will work or how this will work specifically. Uh, operating. How do we? Well, we definitely don't want pro mode. Hmm. Okay. Um, reattach it. Well, I don't think hiring a worker is going to do anything for us. No. How, oh, how do I get... Hmm. Okay, let me play with this. Hang on a second. Okay, we've got this working. And let me just make sure I can see the, the uh, keyboard controls. So you can see, I had to switch to... All right, caramba. It was on... Uh, Pro, I think, so that makes it easy. Uh, We're in transporting position. So this should work. As we drive by, there we go. So we didn't really need this trailer, but I thought it was time for a change. And also, I am hoping to uh, transport more bales at the same time, since we are now using the round baler. Looks like 20 bales. So yes, we can hold twice as many bales. That is good news because there are a lot of bales here. So let me just uh, zip around here quickly. Well, that didn't take uh, too long at all. So let's have a look. Where is our best price for the silage? Oh, looks like our biogas plant. So we'll make make some decent money here. Now, actually, one of the things we should make sure of... Oh, we can't tell. Oh, unlike the other trailer, it's hard to tell if all these bales actually did convert to silage. So let's, let's unload this then. How do we... Oh, just Y. There we go. Um, ooh. Okay. This is... Well, this is, this is definitely a more complex... Okay, this helps. Okay, we're going to move them over here. We're going to... Apparently, uh, do a very bad job of everything. Oh my goodness. Because if I do that, 
Hmm. Well, an unloaded part of the bales. Well, this is definitely a more complex uh, apparatus here. So what we want to do is have a look. Yeah, these do all appear to be silage. It's hard to tell. It keeps going to the field. Oh, it's also it looks like it's still connected to the tractor. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, this fixing off screen. Well, that was an adventure. Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, it decided to fight me a little. This is a different auto loading trailer than I'm than I'm used to, but I think I have it figured out. I, I'm hopeful that uh, this demonstration goes well. So what we are going to do, I'm going to pull up here. Uh, we will turn this on. I just want to make sure I can get my Xbox controllers because we're going to do is we are going to hit Y to unload the bales. And I hold down the left and right bumper. Or I guess, sorry, just the left bumper. I'm using the left to right on my joystick in this case. And now we can just hit Y again, unload the bales. And then there they all go. I said there they all go. You go over here. And you, sirs, continue as well. Okay, so not bad, not bad. So let's just repeat that magic just one more time. All right, so this should work pretty seamlessly, as I am made a fool of uh, to begin with. Oh yeah, we gotta turn off stop unloading. And now we should be able to, yes, there we go. So yeah, a little different of a mod, a uh, modded trailer here, so it's, it's fine. Now the big question we have for ourselves is, how many bales are we going to keep? Because we should keep some. We are out of si well, it's supposed to we're out of silage. Sargon, you have a marshmallow bag full of, of silage. That is true. That is true. But we don't need to keep all of this. Oops, and we missed the little guy over here. We're coming for you. Hang on, hang on. It's fine. There we go. You're safe, sir. Now, I was trying to consider how many bales do we really need. Uh, we do need them for the silos, but we are going to cut. You know, we've got plenty of grass fields at the moment. And this, we might convert that field away from a grass field. Uh, that's something I have to think about. I think if we come over here, we've got 10. Oops. Remove the straps, that's what we're after. Uh, we have 10 uh, bales. But what I'm thinking, and we're not going to cheat this little, even though we've got the front loader right there. Uh, we are going to take these bales here. And I think we're going to leave ourselves six. Six seems like a good number. That, that should work out well for us. So the rest of these can make their way over. Yeah, I want to make sure I do have uh, silage for our TMR. Very, very important. I do think at times I've uh, kept a little too much silage on the farm. Uh, you know, although part of that is just holding off uh, till the best price. In January, it's a darn good time to sell. And like before, we're just going to pull ourselves up. But let's see if we can get ourselves a little further down. 
so that hopefully all the bales go at once. So we're going to turn on unloading left button. So I'm on the Xbox controller. Bring it over, bring it down, hit Y again. Come on, Y. Are we uh, still connected? Hello? Oh, we're still floating. We're floating. I thought we had this. Abort unloading. I don't want to unbort. There we go. I must have hit the wrong key. There we go. Much better. Much better. Another $55,500. So wowzers, we have nearly $325,000 in the bank. So we're going to have to decide what we're going to do with that. Another field? Production? Field enter production? Fancy dancy new tractor? Uh, go to Vegas and put it all on black? I don't know. Uh, you tell me. So uh, with that, though, I think we're going to leave things here today. Very productive episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching it, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.